Hi students, this is Farzana Nadaf from Aveda Inamda Senior College, BCS Science Department. And in this video series, I am going to cover the topics under course Database Management System for FY BCS Science. Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain you the basic introduction part of DBMS. So DBMS stands for Database management system okay now starting with very basic question what is data data is any information or collection of information is called as data then database collection of this information in the form of tables is called as database okay or you can say that collection of tables is called as database now to create database we need to create what tables correct you need to insert values in that table. You need to update values. Sometimes you need to delete unwanted data. And sometimes you need to fetch for a particular record. So to perform all these operations on database, you require a software called as database management system okay what is software software is collection of programs okay to handle data or you can say that interrelated data in data base okay so dbms is a software which manages your database okay so there are different dbms softwares you have heard about oracles oracle then db2 sql server access and Sybase and many more etc. So these are the different DBMS using which you can manage or handle your database. Okay. Now moving to the basic terminologies. First is schema, another name for database or database is also called as schema. Next is entity, then attributes, then record or tuple and there is field. Okay. Now entity, entity is any real life object, any real life object. It can be student, it can be pen, it can be fan, book, table, etc. So these all are the entities. Anything or any object is entity. Now this entity is having some information. Correct. For example, student is having student roll number, student name, student address, contact number and etc. So these all are the information of a student or you can say the properties of 
students. So the properties of an entity is called as attribute. Okay. Now record and tuple. So we have seen that the database is collection of tables. Collection of tables means collection of rows and columns. Correct. So row in a table is called as record or tuple and a column in a table is called as field. Okay. Let us take an example. Same example. Suppose my database is information. Okay. You can have many tables in a database. So my schema or database is information. In this database I have student table. Okay. Student table is having roll number, name, class and percentage. And in this table I am having details of let us say 5 students. Okay. So in this, this information is schema, student is entity, roll number, name, class and percentage is attributes. Then row in a table is called as record or tuple. Column in a table is called as field. Okay. Now the question is we can store all this information in any file. Correct. Then why we require DBMS? Okay. Yes, you can store all this information in the in any file, but let us take an example that you are having details of all students of your college. Okay, all students of your college, and you know the college is having lots of students so many students are there in your college now if you want to search for a particular student or if you want to fetch the details of a particular student then this task will become complicated as well as time consuming correct if you are storing the details in any file then from that file to fetch for a particular record will become complicated and time consuming. So to make it easy and fast we require database management software. Okay. And where we can use it as we can use we are using in college. Similarly you can use it in hospital. Okay. Hospital is having so many doctors, so many patients, okay, other staffs and other detail etc. You can manage all these details with the help of database management software. Similarly, you can use it in schools, airlines and every. So, database management system can be used everywhere. Okay, so this is all about the basic introduction part of database management system. Now, a quick revision. DBMS stands for database management system. Data is collection of information. Database is collection of this information in the form of tables. You can perform different operation on your database with the help of database management system database management system is software we have seen different database management system softwares then we have seen the basic terminologies schema entity is any real life object is entity attributes properties of this entity is called as attribute row in a table is called as record or tuple column in a table is called as field okay then we have seen why we require 
and where we can use database management system. Okay, that's it. Thank you.